Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, one more important feature in a Google Cloud BigQuery, that is a Big Lake. So Big Lake is a feature within the BigQuery, so it's not a separate from BigQuery, but it provides a lot of features, a lot of additional things. So we are going to discuss in this video. So there are a lot of documentations and videos which are quite confusing and which may not provide the clear picture of what is Big Lake actually. So I thought, okay, let's create a video and just simplify the things with the help of this video. So let's see what is a Big Lake. So I'm just trying to simplify. So Big Lake is, you can consider Big is for BigQuery, which is a data warehouse and Lake is for the data lake. So what data we are having in BigQuery, it is kind of the structured and relational data. And what data we are having in data lake, it's kind of the same structure or unstructured data. So whenever the organization is working on data, so they have some data in their uh, data warehouse, which is clean, relational and structured data. And they have some data in form of the CSV file or JSON file or packet file, which rest, resides in their storage bucket. Okay. So that is kind of data which is not loaded into the BigQuery. So if you want to analyze that data, which is already in the storage bucket, or let's say it is on the S3 bucket or Azure blob storage. So in case you need to analyze that data, you don't need to load that in BigQuery. So you can directly query that data, directly analyze that data with the Big Lake feature. Okay. So let me show you the architecture here, the architecture of Big Lake. You can see you are having the query data warehouse here where your data is there and you are having the lake. So lake can be your Google Cloud storage data where it can be your CSV file, JSON files and other multiple file format or it can be in S3 AWS or it can be in Azure Blob Storage. So it is kind of the multi-cloud features. So you can directly query the data which is in your S3 bucket or in Azure Blob Storage from the BigQuery. So you can write BigQuery query on the data which is in your AWS S3 or Blob Storage. Google Cloud Storage, we already see how we can query the data in Google Cloud Storage with the external table feature. So this is similarly or almost similar to the external table feature, Big Leg. Okay, but there is a slight difference which how it can handle the access control in Big Lake and how handle the access control in external table. So we will see that while we start with the demo. So at the end of this video, we will go with the demo and we'll try to create the Big Lake table. So Big Lake is nothing but it is the group of tables which can be a part of your normal native tables in BigQuery and it also contains the external table which query data from S3 bucket, Google Cloud Storage bucket or Azure Blob Storage and on all this data you can do all normal ETL operation you can just uh, perform the query you can read the data and then use it for the transformation so all these operations you can perform on the big leg tables okay so this is the a uh, very simple explanation of big leg nothing complex just big leg is nothing but the external table which are part of aws s3 bucket or google cloud storage bucket or azure blob storage okay that's it no need to complicate the things here so you can understand now what is big leg so it is the combination of data warehouse BigQuery tables plus the files csv files or ocr files or packet files which are available in any of these three like s3 bucket cloud storage and azure okay so you can understand the big lake is just bridging between data lake and data warehouse so data lake can be s3 bucket gcs bucket or azure blob storage so hope this is clear now now just jump into some additional things of the big lake okay so as we discussed big lake is bridging data lake and a data warehouse so Big Lake is a unified storage engine developed by Google Cloud that enable organization to analyze data across various storage system, including data lakes and data warehouse using consistent secure interface. So with this same interface, you can query data in query, you can query data in three bucket, and you can also query data in your Azure blob storage. Okay. And also in the Google Cloud storage with the query interface. So there are some key features like unified data access. It means you can only provide access to your data set. You don't need to provide a user additional access to the storage bucket or additional access to the S3 bucket or additional access to blob storage. You need to just provide access to the data set which contains your external table which are created from your S3 bucket files or the blob storage files. So that is the unified data access. You don't need to keep jumping for AWS access or S3 bucket access or GCS bucket access. So you have to just manage the data set access. That's it. 
and then you can use a fine grain security control you can use the row level access security column level access security so how to use a uh, row level access security and column level access security that we already see in our previous video so i will just add the link in the description or you can check out my playlist for the access control in a query and then performance optimization so you can use a uh, query query features to optimize the performance then multi cow support add it can use to query the data from your aws azure so it is kind of the multi cloud supports and there are some benefits like cost efficiency you don't need to move data from aws to bigquery or you don't need to load unnecessary data from cloud storage to bigquery so it is kind of cost effective and it is simplified data management within the bigquery you can just analyze the data which resides in aws s3 bucket or blob storage or a google cloud storage okay this is the simple thing and enhance flexibility as it provide uh, ability to an analyze the diverse data type from the multiple clouds so it provide kind of the flexibility so this is how the data lake i mean the big lake will work so big lake when we create a big lake we basically create the big lake tables and what is big lake table so these are the external table which query data from any one of these three sources okay that is the simple thing now a big lake tables also contains uh two examples okay one is a big lake tables on the cloud storage bucket which is kind of the external table we will see the demo how we can create the big lake tables on cloud storage okay and this is like data stored in google cloud storage in the format like parquet orc csv or it is like it enable the schema on read access useful when we working on the semi structured data supports fine grained access control so this is for the big query tables on the uh, big lake tables on the cloud storage it also supports the data on the other cloud like aws or azure so for this it uses a big query omni feature okay so there is a big query omni feature we will be seeing that in detail in next video how we can use a big query omni to query data from aws s3 bucket and we will create the table in big query to access the data in the okay so there are two types of table as i mentioned so in this video we will first see a big lake table in a cloud storage okay so i will go to google cloud console now and i will create one a big lake table using the file in the google cloud storage bucket so now let's go to google cloud console so i am in my uh, google cloud console now so let me just go to a uh, big query so let me open a big query and also let me open the cloud storage because we have to create one storage bucket where we will upload one of our csv file okay so let just let me go to the storage bucket and, and i will create one bucket for our views so i will just give the name as a big lake demo for the storage bucket so i will just create bucket okay and i will just give the name as a uh, bkt big lake demo and just some unique number 001 okay and i will just use the us region simply create and continue so here i will upload some csv files okay so i'll just upload file here so let's upload this file okay which is employee data csv so we are having this file in a uh, google cloud storage okay and we want to analyze this file from the bigquery so let me go to the bigquery and let me create a data set so i will just create a data set called big lake demo okay we just create a data set yeah so here i will just click on the create table so first we will create from the cloud storage bucket we will select the file so we have bucket big leg demo i will just select the file select okay csv table name i will just give 
big legs gcs demo okay so i am just using this one so this type should be a external table once we create external table it will ask to create a big leg table using the cloud resource connection so if i click on this it will ask for the connection id so there is no connection id created so i will just click on the create cloud resource connection okay now here we have to select the big leg okay so vertex AI, remote models, remote function and big leg. So this we have to select connection ID. I will just give GCS big leg connection. Okay. So I will choose a multi-region and again the friendly name I can give GCP big leg and I will just create a connection as soon as it took the same uh, connection name okay I will choose auto detect and I will create a table so this is a uh, very simple that how we create a big leg table now you can see it is saying access denied why it is saying I will tell you so as soon as we create a connection so let me just this connection is created right so let me just open a duplicate tab so this connection will create one identity and this identity is not having access to this file okay so let me just go to data set here and the connection so we are having the external connections yeah so this is our connection GCS big leg connection and this is having service account so this service account should have access to the file so currently this is not having access to the file so what i will do i'll just click on the permissions and i will just add this service account here so i will just grant access okay and i will just give the role so i can just give a storage object even the viewer is sufficient so I will just give the storage object admin okay so it will have access to the file now let's again go back and click on the create so earlier it was failed now click on create so now it is creating the table so our big leg GCS demo table is created so how it will understand the big leg table so you will see this big leg icon here it means this is the big leg table now I execute a query okay so you can execute the query here okay the job information you can see okay first let me show you the table information here if you go to details it will show the connection ID is big leg connection ID and source URI is the file URI so this is the external big leg table now you might be having confusion then what is the difference between big lake and external table okay so let me create one external table and let me show you the difference okay so let me just create one external table with the same way with the same file so I will just use the same file okay name I will give external table okay now this is external table so I will just select the external table only difference is I am not selecting this create big leg connection okay I am not enabling this so it will create the normal external table so I will tell you the difference now once it is created so this is external table okay the schema you will see the same here it is there is no big leg icon but here you will see a big leg icon now what is the difference so if you execute the query there won't be any difference okay if you execute a query there won't be any difference then where is the difference so difference comes when we share this data set with the users now let me share so this is my one email id okay so okay so this is my one email id where i created this data set now i want to share to the one user only this data set okay so this project is having a lot of data set but i want to share only a big leg demo to the one user so this is my another user so you can see the email id is vbulbule1994 gmail.com you can identify using this image and one email id is with this icon okay so 
I want to share this data set so they can query the data so I will just click on the share manage permissions and here I will add them with the minimum permissions so I will just add principal and I will add so this email ID I will add and I will give the role first is a data viewer and I will add another role query users okay so that is useful to query the data so both roles I have added now and I will just copy the data set link so from here share and you have option copy link okay now I will go to this another user and copy the link here okay so with this link it should be able to access only the big lake data set and no other data set so let me show you that so we provided access only to the big lake data set so it will have access only to the big lake data set here okay so this is having access to only big lake data set from this project okay tk dev2 now i will tell you the difference between the big lake tables and external table so if i try to access the external table here let me just try to query and just try select star here with the external table so you will see access denied so let me show you exact complete error so access denied permission denied by globing the file pattern because this does not have access to the storage bucket which storage bucket where our files are available so when we use external table users need access to the query as well as the gcs bucket where files are available okay but in case of a big lake table we don't need access to the storage bucket we can query the big lake table even without access to the storage bucket let me show you here and that's why it is called as a unified uh, data access so if i query i will able to query without any issue see so that's that's the main difference between a uh, external table and a big leg table okay hope this is clear now so we created a big leg table using a google cloud storage bucket file so in our next video we will create one more table but it will be based on the aws s3 bucket file so our file will be available in the gcs not gcs it's s3 bucket in aws and we'll try to create a big leg table from the s3 bucket file so that demo we will see in the next video. So thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again in the next video.